in my last video i had explained uh, how to create a second ledger and what are all the other uh, prerequisite uh, setups which we need to perform for a second ledger before we start entering any uh, transactions under a second ledger now in this video i'll show you how we can push the data from primary ledger into second ledger and also how we can directly enter the journals or the transactions in the second ledger this is arvind varganti and you are watching oracle ebs and fusion financials channel the second ledger whatever we have created in our last video i had already assigned that second ledger to my user uh, but uh, if you want to recap on how we can assign a ledger to the user i can show you that as well go to setup and maintenance search and then go for manage data access manage uh, data access for users so i had already uh, assigned that but if you want to assign then you can just go here this is the username fas 9.student and the role i just want to assign it to my general accounting manager role security context data access set and uh, the ledger name would be reliance inr sub ledger level secondary okay so as i already assigned so i'll not be doing that once again so I'll also show you how to open the period for this particular second ledger. Again, it's the same process whatever we have followed for the primary ledger. Go to your general accounting functional area and then period close. So here uh, ensure that uh, you have selected the data access set of uh, the second ledger and then click on this general ledger see here you can i had already opened the september period and this is october and if i keep my cursor in october it allows me to click on open period so that i can open the next period okay so done now let me enter a simple journal entry in the primary ledger and uh, once I post that particular journal entry in primary ledger, the data should be automatically pushed to the second ledger. If you recap uh, whatever the second ledger which uh, we have defined is sub-ledger level uh, secondary ledger. So under sub-ledger level second ledger, as far as the sub-ledger uh, transactions are concerned, create accounting program will push the data to primary and secondary. But as far as your manual or FBDI, or generates from external sources are concerned when you post the general entry in primary the entry would be pushed to second ledger so i will not be able to show you this particular part so i'll show you this particular part now in this video i'll create a simple manual general entry in the primary ledger and then post it and then i'll show you how the journal entry gets posted into your secondary ledger navigate to your general accounting journals Create journal. Let me change this to Reliance USD US, which is my primary ledger. And then create journal. And the journal batch name would be probably I'll call it as this uh, primary ledger to second ledger push so this is the general batch time i just want to give the same as my journal entry name as well this is the accounting date this is my primary ledger and uh, category i just want to use maybe adjustment category and the currency is usd okay i want to pass a simple journal entry maybe debit and expense and uh, credit uh, maybe a cash account account probably sales salary so debiting sales salary account probably for say 25,000 
and then crediting i just want to say credit a cash account cash or bank account yeah, typically when we use the balance sheet accounts we will use the call center of 000 okay so come here enter 25000 now save post the process already got triggered you can see the status has selected for posting refresh this wait for the general entry to be posted once the general entry is posted we can log into the second ledger and check if this particular journal is appearing in the second ledger so this is the batch name test pl to sl push let's see how system derives the naming conventions in the second ledger as well so if you remember twenty five thousand dollars and uh, these are the accounts now let's change it to secondary ledger which is reliance inr uh, sub ledger level secondary manage journals search so these are all test journals created by somebody else okay let's focus on this one so you can see the general batch name in the yeah so the general name is same in the second ledger as well but as far as the general batch is concerned you can see some system generated id and then the batch name whatever we have mentioned there and then uh, probably i think this was the process id okay and it should be obviously in the same accounting period and the same currency but here you can observe that it has converted the amount into INR because INR being the functional currency so the entered currency is USD and the functional currency or accounted currency is INR and it has converted using the exchange rate date of uh, 27th of September and exchange rate type of corporate if you remember like uh, we have specified the uh, conversion rate type of corporate when we have set up the the secondary ledger so that's how system has used that and you can see it's the same accounts whatever we have used in your primary ledger the same accounts you can see here and the general entry is in unposted status so if you want we can post them and there are also some options wherein you can also automatically post the general when the general entry is being posted in the primary ledger or you can schedule automatic posting program directly in the second ledger or we can manually post this particular general as well okay now let me show you another scenario okay. i want to enter one more general entry in the primary ledger Create journal. I'll name just say test PL2 SL2. Probably I'll use the same dates, maybe same accounts, but maybe uh, just a different amount. Hang on, I need to specify the category. Yeah. So this time instead of uh, adjustment, probably I'll use allocations. Okay. So now specify the company cost center sales salary and then intercompany. Maybe I just want to use say thirty thousand. Don't remember the cash account. Okay. Remember the amount thirty thousand. Okay, now this save and post. Letter for posting. Yeah, posting is completed now go and check if this particular general entry is also created under the second ledger so remember the amount that is thirty thousand. 
manage journals it's september period okay so if you observe here this journal entry is not pushed into second ledger and there is a reason for that pause this particular video and then think about uh, what could be the reason for that okay now i'll get into the details as to why this particular journal entry was not pushed from primary to second ledger if you remember during our service, uh, your second ledger setups i had mentioned there is one option wherein if you want you can specify a specific general source and general category which can be stopped from being pushed from primary into secondary so i have specifically given a general source of manual and category of allocation in that particular uh, uh, mapping so that those general entries are not being pushed from primary to secondary and i'll show you that so that's the reason why in this case the journals which are created with the source of manual and adjustments were pushed but whereas the journals with the source of manual and allocations were not pushed into second ledger so in order to check that particular setup we need to go to setup and maintenance and then under financials general ledger search for uh, we already have here primary to second ledger mapping yeah so here you can see under uh, primary to second ledger mapping general source of mandate and uh, uh, general category of allocations have set transfer journals to second ledger as no this is the reason why those general entries are not being pushed from primary to second ledger again this could be one of the uh, production support issues wherein users do not realize that and users might raise a ticket saying that oh so and so general entry was not being pushed from primary to secondary and this is the reason for that thank you thanks for watching my video for interesting videos on oracle ebs and fusion financials please do subscribe to my channel thank you